Hey guys, D here. I just wanted to uh, give you a little behind the scenes here. Um, a lot of, lots of people like my photos on Facebook. And, uh, you guys are subscribing and liking, so I'm guessing you like watching our videos. Um, I hope they're getting better for you. But uh, yeah, I wanted to go through and have you take a look here and you know watch me set up this guy. Um, this board has been something that's been in my head for a while now. And now that I've got a good chunk of what I wanted to do originally done, I kind of want to take a look at it and, you know, walk through all the steps here. Um, this whole board took me less than 20 minutes to set. Um, the tiles, Oh, goodness sakes, that was less than five. Um, the rest of the uh, setup is all scattered terrain for the most part. Um, I've kind of kept everything in a 12-inch tile situation. That was storage, um, as you probably are noticing on the video. Um, yeah, this all packs up into its own little totes. Um, I, it needs to be mobile. If you start noticing that there's some bashed up areas, you know, where foam's coming through and paint's chipping off. Yeah, we, we I use this on a pretty regular basis. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch everybody play on it for the first time and then realize that, you know, they're missing some equipment. Um, One-off games, they change their gangs around, uh, you know, in a campaign, then, you know, you start figuring out what you wanna buy. Um, it's fun setting up one of this this board and uh, running some spiders around on it for a spider hunt. Um, you know, in this particular one, we're in a dark uprising campaign right now, and uh, this is the first game with them playing with those rules. So I figured I'd set up um, a certain. Yeah, here we go. Um, even I don't know which way's up, <laughs> and I built the dumb thing. Yeah, we just slide it down here. Um, you know, I didn't know how many people were coming tonight, whether it was going to be two that had made sure they were coming or turned out to be four. So I built the board a little bit bigger here. Um, we play with the top side being board edges. Um, you can either play with the vertical side being board edges as far as setup is concerned in most games. Um, now we're going to go uh, with the sump tiles. Um, and yeah, you got to be a little careful sometimes when you're sliding them under. Um, I'm questioning my design. Of course, that's, you know, almost two years after I actually made that piece, uh, the first wall sections. Um, so, I, you know, pretty good. You just got to remember to, you know, not knock them over when you're setting them up. But yeah, needless to say, uh, four guys showed up um, and this was a very tight, constricted board. Um, everybody could still get their hands in and move. Yeah, it was a little bit of a trick, but I kind of think the idea of playing vertically is a little bit more uh, responsive for most gamers. Um, there are some people that are kind of scared about playing on a board like this. You know, they don't they don't understand how it would work. I f built it specifically for uh, big gaming events where we have table problem table space problems. You know, this thing can go on the wall and open up space that you don't normally see uh, or don't normally get to use, or stuff gets piled. But yeah, this is the fun part. You get the scatter scratch terrain. Um, I came up with the concept because of this board and setting up my sump stuff. But you can see I have everything in individual totes over there. Um, now, I do not recommend that you go out and dump all the money that I did on all those toolboxes. Um, I have an inn, which a lot of people don't have. So it, it you know, it, it was a little bit of money. If you're gonna do it and be portable, I mean, I can stack those things up six high and roll them around. 
Um, like I said, great for events, and, but you, you can't fit a 12 inch tile in it. Um, but you can fit lots of scatter terrain like this. And my scatter terrain abilities are getting better since the videos started, they're getting even better. I'm getting uh, a lot of fun just making stuff like that piece I just put down that's a fishing uh, hole stand with a uh, Promethium grill on the side of it uh, with a nice little tarp over the top. Real easy. And it's just another layer that you can throw on. Um, you know, you get towers. Yeah. The tapping of the fingers. I've got a lot of terrain to choose from, which way I want to do. I got this big pipe from years ago. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think there's a date on the bottom of that one that says 96 on it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's so much fun to play on this board um i i just i can't tell you enough oh yeah there's the the new scatter scratch piece that went in the uh the slopper um but you know the slopper didn't have to go on this and of course it's the stump so there's got to be some boats uh some orc truck conversions uh these are the smaller ones i have not really much room for a barge on here but when I was setting it up, you know, it was all about places for people to stand and be able to effectively run their gangs, you know, some room. Um, line of sight is very interesting because you almost always have line of sight on this unless you're on the wall looking down. And then you have to worry about range. Um, I threw these pictures up on the internet last week and a lot of people liked the look so I said you know what I'll just use the footage and we'll come out with a quick little video here for you guys to look at um, I take a little bit of pride in my terrain it's uh, I, I I love doing it I can't tell you how much I do um, I'd rather be building a there's another little fishing shack there with uh, the first run of sector Imperialis uh, stuff. Yeah, there's the Subcity Radio Shack. Lots of neat stuff. Yeah, there's that fishing hole. Scatter scratch. Yeah, here we go. Got the other tiles from before. Got a few little Promethium furnaces down there. That's Tolliver's House of Fine Bait. Another really old piece. A um, little bit of sump styles with a little little uh, settlement on it. Yeah, there it is. Second edition cabbage head. Tear it in. There's a sump gate. More fishing hole. Man, there's so much stuff. Yeah, a great big drain pipe. We got some boats running in and out. You know, the doorways, you know, you can use the ladders, but you can always use the doors. Um, I got a little chart for that. You go into one door and you have to roll randomly to come out another door and another tile maybe. But um, so anyways, a um, couple of pictures at the end here. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And... Please like and subscribe.